This episode brought to you by preparewithdronetech.com. Go to preparewithdronetech.com and save $150 on every three-month food kit. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Protect your family and secure this emergency food today. Preparewithdronetech.com. But you can't have your AR-15. If you're going to get all in my business and tell me what my family can and cannot do, neither can you. They're going to come for those AR-15s, and you better get ready to give them up, because this is America. Come and get them! <laughs> We're all so scared. Yeah, you're right. This is America, which is exactly why you're not going to get our AR-15s. I swear to God, if I see another Republican senator talk about their heart being broken, I'm going to go punch somebody. That's assault, brother. Oh, yeah, that sounds rational. Violently assaulting somebody that's praying for victims of violence. That doesn't sound completely insane or like a hate crime or anything, but go on. And kind of thoughts and I, I can't take it in their thoughts and prayers. Yeah. If your thoughts and prayers were really with everybody, <laughs> you'd have done something by now. Of course, she's pointing her finger at the party out of power, the Republican Party, and not at Barack Obama, who's in charge for eight years and did nothing. Joe Biden and Democrats have been in charge for almost two years and have done nothing. But yeah, let's score political points for the Democrat Party on the bodies of 19 children. How disgusting is it that the Democrat Party and their media are taking this horrible opportunity to once again point the finger at their political opponents just before the midterms? What is it that they're supposed to do exactly outside of passing more laws The criminal psychopaths has will continue to ignore. You can ask these people all day long which laws would have stopped any of these shootings and they'll never have a response. We've suggested armed guards and tightened security at schools, but we can't do that because they say it'll turn schools into prisons. I posed the question on my YouTube community poll today and it seems an overwhelming majority of those who responded support it. Maybe we should at least give it a try and protect our kids at least as much as we protect banks and airports. What the hell is going on? I want them to stop gaslighting me also. Stop saying it's not it's not guns that kill people, it's people that kill people. It's guns that kill people, okay? Stop saying the opposite. Yes. They truly are that stupid. The gun is not self-aware. The gun does not operate without an operator. When the black nationalist plowed his car into that Christmas parade, it wasn't the SUV that killed those people. It was the guy driving the inanimate object. I cannot believe that she thinks it's gaslighting to point that out. Stop gaslighting me on that one. And stop saying that you can have a good guy stop a bad guy with a gun. We have seen in both of these shootings in the past three weeks yeah. that a good guy I tried and could not do and it. Was so stop for. gaslighting us. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. For fuck's sake, the shooting they're talking about right now was ended by a good guy with a gun, albeit not soon enough. According to the CDC, there are between 500,000 and 3 million defensive uses of guns in this country every year. So apparently the data in the survey has been revised and the number recalculated to around 1 million defensive uses of guns per year. But still, that's way more than the amount of people killed by guns. Two thirds of which, by the way, are suicides. You think you're gonna stop people from committing suicide by new gun laws? How else do these blubbering morons think you're gonna stop a psychopath with a gun without another gun? Strangely, when it comes to Ukraine, they seem to suddenly understand this concept. Life is so sacred, then stop using guns to abort young lives. And, and stop, stop voting using for, guns. And, and stop to, voting for Republicans. <laughs> And there you have it. None of these people have any idea what they're talking about, and all they really care about is keeping their political party in power. If you're wondering who would sponsor such disgusting, dishonest lies, it's Liberty Mutual. I implore you all, don't spend your money on people who hate you and are actively subverting your rights. That's all for this one. Hit that like button. Please share this video and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.